<clears throat> okay, new game today, the Turing Test. I don't know a whole lot about this game. It was recommended a while back and has been just sitting in my wish list and then sitting in my Steam pile. Steam hamper full of dirty clothes that are waiting to be washed. I am pretty sure it's a puzzle game. That's about all I know. The Turing Test. Named, of course, after Alan Turing and the... I guess theoretical... I mean, we don't use it practically, but... In, in theory, the idea was that uh, we would have a true AI or a true consciousness if if there was uh, if you created an AI <clears throat> that could pass the Turing test, which is uh, which is when you have a human interview an interviewee and they are unable to reliably tell whether the person whether the interviewee is human or artificial we lost contact with the ground crew 450 hours ago we have tried to establish further communications but we are not getting any responses we need you to investigate okay doesn't it make sense to do visual checks first we have already looked at the data the isa has made the executive decision that you report to the surface post haste you are our emergency response. What exactly is the emergency? I am the reinforcement. The ground crew found an organism the ISA believed to be dangerous. We need to re-establish communication. That's weird. I don't. <laughs> I don't know if I like seeing my hands like that. <laughs> Good evening, fellow human. Um, I. I am pressing X to doubt. Are you real? Are you a real person? Let me turn all of these down to high, just because... It automatically put me on ultra. And that might be too intense. Do, 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 do. What else do I need to do? Turn down the mouse sensitivity a little bit. That's a little better. And it's weird that when you, if you're running and you turn, and it pushes with her hand. <laughs> All right. It looks a lot like a, I immediately thought of Towel's principle and the fans in there. Am I gonna have to use fans? Sarah Brooke, Mikhail Tor Tokarev. User error, that's no good. That guy's probably an AI. See, the trick the trick is that his name doesn't sound like a human name. Soichi Yui. ID 404 not found. This this could be some I don't I don't know what manner of puzzle game this is yet. <laughs> so I don't know. Oh uh, no, there's there's way too many repeating things. I see two zero in there too much. Two zero and six D and six five. Mmm no, maybe I'm wrong. Oh it Oh, there's lots of it. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say that ain't real. Crew lobby. Can I pick things up? I can. Pick up your EMT. 
it's on the side. Also, uh, maybe we'll turn that up, but then turn the music sound effects down just to make the voice a little easier to hear. Is this, a, is this what you want? What am I doing? With this. Okay. We are going to take a lander to Europa. Make your way to the docking station. Oh, I'm, maybe I'm already wearing a spacesuit. Might make sense. Uh, my name is Turing? Okay, Ava Turing. To Ava Turing, I said internal technical operations manual, I said internal ship status. Current ship status is as following. Recommend addressing the power fluctuations before cryostasis. PO.90, PO.10, Hey, Dan, I'm about to initiate my cryostasis. Just let Tom know. Just let Tom know if you guys need me. Hopefully there will be no need to wake me. I guess I'll hear from you as soon as I wake up, which may be a long time for you guys. Best of luck down there. Hopefully we won't need you, but... We will miss you in the land of the living. I'll make sure Tom checks on you regularly. I know he does anyway, but I like to think I'm helping. Good night, Dan. Captain McLean sent several mails, insisting. Okay, so who is... Oh, okay, so T-O-M, Technical Operations Machine, is Tom. Several mails, insisting I check the cryo chambers are functioning regularly. They are functioning as expected. Please do not feel any apprehension. Commander McLean has been informed. Thank you, Tom. I'm not worried. I'm initiating my cryostasis in a short while. I imagine a lot will change while I'm asleep. If everything goes well, I should be woken up in next in 10 years. So I'd like to wish you all a good life. So that is our story. Uh, but we've been woken up early, I guess. I shouldn't spend too long just dicking around. This this may this may be a like cool atmospheric look at all the stuff game or it might be a hardcore puzzle game I don't know which yet if if the meat of the game is the puzzles then I should probably get to them what's the ship status I have performed the necessary checks. Uh, there was no apostrophe in ships. Literally unplayable. Bonk. Bonk? The residuals before mm. nulling my... I think that's everything wound up, Tom. Yes. Well, I guess I'm ready to go down for the long sleep then. Good night, Ava. I will miss your assistance. The ship will be very quiet without you here. Night. See you when I wake up, Tom. Residuals before nulling. Minus zero two, minus zero four, minus zero one. X and Z null to zero. Looking good. Okay, good. Horizon check right on time. How's things, Christopher? Good. I have go for power descent. I can confirm. You are go for power descent. Roger that. I am running the PDI program. 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. Engine one ignition. Engine burn. Suppressing 400 alarm. Bound. The lander's are ready. Good. Thanks, Tom. You okay now, Sarah? Yeah, I think so. Thank you, Daniel. I've done this before. I'm sure you'll be fine. It's just another 10 years of my life. The landers are ready. Good. Thanks, Tom. You okay now, Sarah? Yeah, I think so. Thank you, Daniel. I've done this before. I'm sure you'll be fine. Son, let's make sure we stare directly at it. The sun is probably a puzzle.
day three. They seem to have put a lot of work into this, th like, I don't, I, I wouldn't think that we're going to spend a lot of time on the ship. And yet all of this is very detailed. I'm pretty impressed with the, with the production value so far, like, the, the voice work has all been really good. Retro? Go. Fido? Go. Guidance? Go. Control. Go. Telcom. Go. Then we are go for launch initiating. Zephyr. It wasn't Engaging the sun at fire. all. I'm running the program. 80 degree delta pitch to 88 degrees absolute. Breaking procedure. He turned ten. Looks good. Hello, Ever X. We have not done any puzzles yet. Five oh two alarm. It looks like we're coming in too fast. Uh oh, but it's not my fault. I didn't do a bad. We are going to have to burn late. Go. Full retrograde. Welcome to Europa. That is one of Jupiter's moons, right? One of the big ones. I too enjoy watching fellow humans engage in human activities of fun, fun procurement. Alright, so we can't see Jupiter in the sky. We saw Jupiter on our way down. I don't see it now. So they're putting so much into this, I'm, I'm starting to think it's going to be more of an abduction type game. Abduction or Riven or Mist, rather than Turing Test. Like, here are these puzzles which I have presented to you. They happen to be in, you know, in a 3D world, but the, the point of the game is the puzzles. Where maybe here it's more like, oh, okay, here's a cool story. What did I, what did I say? What do you mean? Explain yourself. I did not say Oirup. The base has changed. What do you mean? The base was originally constructed as modules to withstand the seismic activity in and around Thera Magula. It appears the ground team have manipulated these modules. Alright, can't fire the gun yet. The base was built initially by machines. I served as the mind of these operations. I arrived first on Europa in 2240. It costs a lot to send humans into space with the necessary life support, especially such a vast distance from Earth. So, robotics built this place. Oh, right, right click. Oh. Maybe it will be more puzzly. 
we're, we're going we're going through portal style test chambers and then being uh, touched with an emancipation grid. I wonder why the ground team has changed these rooms. I have a hypothesis. These rooms are Turing tests. Turing tests? I've Turing never heard of them, even though it's my last name. designed to tell humans and machines apart. Typically, problems only solvable by a human. A combination of logical and lateral thinking. So, you can't complete these tests, Tom? No. That is why I am glad you are here to help. We need to work together. Oh, I see. There's a window here. Also, this this is obviously not <laughs> like a Turing style test. <laughs> they really have completely repurposed these rooms. I am quite impressed. So what were they used for before? Most of them were used for storage. But they have converted them beyond recognition. Perhaps they ran out of things to do out here. The devil makes work for idle hands. Ah, uh, a switch. Oh, even that's invert. They inverted. That's silly. <laughs> I have mouse look inverted, so in order to move the... Oh, wait. That was... Okay. That was, that was all there was to it. I wanted to explore some more. I can jump. I have a run, I have a run button too. Alright, so I could absorb this one from here, but that will close the door. Instead, I'll come through here. Alright, so all these are just the introductory chambers. Why is that a turret? Well, right, the Turing. Uh, do you know the ground team's location? Typically, the Turing test would be a conversational the test. They must be trying to survive. Can you find their precise location? I'm afraid not. There's nothing about these puck, like these are very logical. Though I once had complete control of this base, a lot has changed in the past 500 hours. So it is not hard to imagine that uh, the... Not hard to imagine that uh, Tom here is is actually sinister, and that they have built these so that he cannot get to them, and we are aiding him. So that closes that door. Can I, like... I can. See? We're getting it. Aren't we? Are we? Am I? Do not destroy vital testing apparatus. So if this base is managed by you, why can't you find the crew? The base's communication array is malfunctioning. Oh, that's weird. All right, so let me check this restricted area first. Perhaps we can't solve this yet. Ah, uh, all right. So will I need to bring more things here or something? Stepping in here didn't do anything. I have, I have very little ability to jump, let it be noted.
Oh. <laughs> well then. So wait. Yeah, you, uh, you guys can discuss and hide if you like, but I have not played this, so this is blind. <laughs> oh, uh, that's what. There we go. Oh, so green ones are finicky, huh? Can I still go through? This doesn't add up. What does not add up? If there was an accident, surely they'd come to find me, not try to lock me out. My instance is still resolving conflicts. I expect they have their reasons. Alright, so I can turn this off. Oh, Mac Fair, hello. Yeah, don't don't feel too bad about the uh, the clear. Nobody's in trouble. So, and I am only just starting this. All right, so this this is gonna let me turn it off. Why would I? Oh no no no! Reverses the direction so that something can go there. Oh, I see. I'm gonna pick this up. So a lot of this is gonna have to do with which of these boxes have the, the little power supply sealed in and which ones do not. Because this is one that I can... Oh, I guess it's not one that I can pick up and carry around. That's fine. So I can come through here and then absorb this one through the window. And then use it here. My instance has just been updated. Uh, sorry? I have two instances of my mind. Two separate versions. A slave mind running on the satellite, and a master running here on the surface. When the communication was cut between the surface base and the satellite, the two instances of my mind were separated. So, during all this time, all of my knowledge divided into two separate branches. I continue to learn on the satellite and I continue to learn on the surface. I am trying to merge the knowledge to create a timeline of what's happened here. But there are incongruities between these memories. Conflicts. Alright, so first we need the switch. Then I can take this one, then I can walk out. Now I have two. So I'm not sure how much talking I, I want to do during the puzzles just yet, because so far they're they're very much like we just want you to learn how these work. I don't know how much longer it's going to be before we get to the tough ones. Well, I think that's what he's saying, is that periodically they synchronize again. It's not a constant process, because that would be... that would be bad. That would mean that if something ever went wrong with one of them... I'd kind of like to find out if there's falling damage? Yeah, let's find out. We're fine. We're on the moon after all. This is the command center. You can check on the crew status from here. Oh. 
Uh, but yeah, if there's anything going on in Hyde, like, I, I think our other two, uh, people here, Serpent and EverX, have, have also not played the game, so... Well, it's not as big of a deal if they get spoiled as it would be if I got spoiled. Please take care. To, uh... Crashed February 10th. Oh, this is all of the like they're okay. I, I see supplies and crew going back and forth between the um, between the moon and the ship. And that one crashed, and all the other ones since then. All the others scheduled. I see. <laughs> Spoil these peasants if you must. You're like my firewall. You guys. Touch here. Uh, I, I am touching here. Oh. Touching there did that. Maybe? Maybe? Okay. Fooled around with it long enough. Lost signal to most people. There's me, and there's five other people. Dan, Chris, Soichi, Mikhail, Mikhail, and Sarah. Also, I might be a robot. Let's not... Let's make sure that we don't fall for that old trick. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm the robot the whole time. 